Welcome to Electron Online, and now we're going to introduce you to Bayes' Theorem. Bayes' Theorem is a theorem on con conditional probability, but it's a very special type of theorem. Actually, the way to think about Bayes' Theorem is that's actually the probability theorem of the cause of some, some series of events occurring. So, for example, to make it easier to understand, because here's the equation, but when you look at the equation, it's kind of difficult to see what's going on. But, well, let's start with the equation, then we'll see what, what the equation means. So here we have the probability that A sub i will occur, some independent event will occur, if we already know that A has occurred. Well, that is equal to the probability that A, A sub i will occur, some independent event, times the probability that A will occur, provided A sub i has occurred, divided by the sum of the probability of A sub i, times the probability that A will occur provided A sub I has occurred, and of course A sub I will be a whole, whole possible series of events from I to N. I can already see, even through the camera, that you look at that and go, I have no idea what that means. Well, we'll develop that over the next several videos, but to give you a hint and to see a pictorial of that, it makes a lot more sense this way. So, for example, we have some independent events. We have two bags that contain marbles. The left, the left bag, let's call this bag number one, contains two blue marbles and three red marbles, and bag number two contains eight blue marbles and two red marbles. And let's say that we also have a coin, and if we toss the coin, we either will have heads or tails. So, if we toss heads, we'll grab a marble from the first bag, and if we throw tails, we'll grab a marble from the second bag. Now, Bayes' theorem puts things kind of in reverse. Let's, for example, say that you go in and you grab from any one of the two bags, one or two, you grab a marble and you look at it and you see that it's a red marble. Now, what is the probability that you threw heads and what is the probability that you threw tails? And that's what Bayes' theorem is all about. So what we have here is, for example, what is the probability that we have either heads or tails? So, for example, a sub 1 will be equal to heads and a sub 2 will be equal tails. So what we're saying is, what is the probability that we have tossed either heads or tails if we know that we grabbed a marble from one of those two bags and that marble happened to be red? So A happens to be the event that you grabbed a red marble. So now that we understand that, let's go look back at the theory and see if it makes a little bit more sense. So that means that is equal to the probability that, for example, we threw heads times the probability that we pulled a red marble provided that we threw heads divided by, and now we have to sum up all the, the different possibilities, the probability that we threw heads times the probability that we pulled a red marble provided we threw heads plus the probability that we threw tails times the probability that we pulled a red marble provided that we threw tails. That's what that theorem actually does for us. It's able to then go backwards and see what the probability was of the original events that resulted in the final outcome by saying if we got this as an outcome, what is the probability that one of those original events actually occurred? I hope that made sense. Well, if it didn't, but you're still interested in trying to figure this out, we're now systematically going to dissect Bayes' theorem and make sense out of it, and eventually we'll show you some examples of how to actually apply Bayes' theorem and then you'll see it's not so bad as it looks in the beginning. And that's how we do that.